seconds within the runaway and uh, I'm getting my shot of him. I got whiskey with me and this guy named uh, Anthony Smith that works there. He's a bartender. Uh, he was off duty sitting at the end of, mind you, off duty at the end of the bar, coked out his mind, drunk as fuck. This is a know. bartender? Yeah. Okay. Off duty. Bro, like, like, when you say off duty, it gives a little bit too much uh, like authority. This nigga ain't at work. Right. This, <laughs> this nigga <laughs> off. <laughs> this motherfucker off work. He's, he's a customer. He's a customer. <laughs> so he tells me, because I go up to the bar with whiskey, um, my friend doesn't like your dog. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Actually, I knew his friend, and I knew he didn't think I knew him. I'm like, Anthony, I know you, bro. Maybe you not here right now, which I can obviously see. And you should know me. I, I'm not the one you want to fucking get mouthy with type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So he so he kind of does that. And then I'm like, bro, you really scared of my dog, bro? And I look at him, I was like, you really scared of my dog? I said, this little ass fucking Yorkie. He's scared of the dog? Bro, I just said it just because I just like, because he was waiting his yeah. 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 I just was like, you scared of my dog? So he got that security comes. That wait, security, he the, tried to flex. Wait, 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 wait. After security <laughs> comes, which this guy named Colin, he's like the head of uh, the security for uh, uh, Cap, Cap Hill. For uh, what is it? I forgot the security group called. It's um, uh, Iron and Oak, which we have a long history of crazy shit. We won't go in that right now. Yeah. So I got to leave the bar. You know, go outside and explain because they had to go right. So uh, I told him what happened. He just, well, you know, if he wants you out here, he's out here. I said, well, he's not even on fucking duty right now. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is it? What is that about? Well, you know, they give that, you know, support to their whatever. So I leave. I come back later that night. and uh, With or without whiskey? Without whiskey okay. and without anybody. Yeah. So okay. I'm okay. knocking on the window to try to get them to come to the window uh, to the door because they were closed. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to really just you know ice over the situation. You know what I'm saying? And they come to the window with their cameras out and shit. You know, which they're which they'll quickly say, "Oh, we have you on camera doing this, doing that." But what they have me on camera doing? is cursing them out because they came to the window like this in my fucking face instead of treating me like a fucking human being. These people up here promote and thrive on Black Lives Matter, especially during the fucking riots. They were all about this. So when you get a chance to show that Black Lives Matter and you don't and you do some other opposite shit, prodding and doing it, kept, come on, bro, That's I'm not with that shit. I'm a grown-ass man. And I said out loud, I said, and I quote, I mean, I, I literally said this, that all the weird shit up in Capitol Hill, all the gay, transgender, all the crack shit, all the fucking weird shit, all this shit that you accept up here, but I'm not accepting. I, I'm a problem. I'm the villain. I'm the devil here. And I walked off. So I come back later that day, they, or later that week, um, and uh, they tell me that, I'm 86 off the whole block. And uh, basically, you know, for me coming back, uh, screaming homophobic slurs and trying to break their window down, which I didn't do. I just tried to get their attention so that I could talk to them. So, um, uh, could, could you explain what uh, the whole block is? Like, comment, uh, everything from everything that uh, Iron and Oak deals with, basically. I don't know because security kind of right. Go on Capitol Hill, that goes with the whole right yeah. All the bars, all the. And them. some other places. Yeah. Um, but the bottom line is, I had some friends, I made some phone calls, you know, that 
aren't in the industry uh, make, you know, for me. And uh, was trying to explain the situation, like, bro, I'm not that way, ooh, ooh, and that dude shouldn't have fucking probably fucked with my dog, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, they unreleased the band, you know, I get, uh, I get the okay to come back, you know, which I was like, okay, maybe these people have changed after, you know, the riots and all the stuff that happened. So, um, they said, you know, don't go back to, you know, run away. I said, that's fine. So, just maybe last week ago, I, uh, I was sitting down at the bar at a, at a comment. bartenders, you know, told me, hey, there's been some buzz about, you know, the product. The guy Anthony's causing stirs with, you know, some people over here and he has friends and they're trying to get you out of here too because he doesn't think it's fair to him. And I'm like, what kind of shit is that? So he's just not letting it go. Not letting it go. So I'm like, wow. So I was told that, you know, uh, security may want to talk to me to clarify some things or some things they may want to add some extra things. Like if he comes in, you know, you know, just try to avoid this, which I had no problems with, you know, I'm like, whatever. So I I knew where Colin is located. He's located in the runaway, actually Barbosa in the basement. So I, I thought because of daylight, you know, I can go over there and holler at him real quick, you know what I'm saying? And be like, hey, what's, what's going on, you know what I'm saying? I go over there and the guy Anthony is there setting up his bar and thing. And I was like, this is a good time maybe just to say it's been a minute, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't want no beef, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't even, you know, look, let's just end this, you know? He, you're not supposed to be in here. I was like, get the hell out of here. And I was like, whoa. I was like, somebody didn't grow up with a moss after that today. So uh, I left. I go back to the comment and, uh, one of the managers come down like 15 minutes later crying and saying that she has the 86 me because I went over there and harassed uh, this guy. <laughs> and, I, and the bartender was sticking up to him. He was like, that didn't happen. He went over there to go talk to you know, you know, the security guy and he came back and told me that what happened, but he, you know, he said, you know, I was like, hey, you know, let's squash this. And he said that nothing of that happened. And she was like, well, it's out of her control. She can't do anything about it. She wish she could. But they came, you know, it was a higher up situation that they was 86. So I tried to call the guy, you know, once again, the Cameron guy. And he sent me this text, like, this cruise shit. And I'll, you know, give it to you so you can flash it out. But um, just real disrespectful, you know. Don't want to hear anything I had to talk about. I told you not to go in, uh, run away, da 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 And I'm like... I didn't go over there to the fucking party. I went over there to see you, you know what I'm saying? I was actually trying to clear up the situation that was super to be talking about. Anyway, I shouldn't have to say that. So I made it say something. They know that they, that, you know, that most of the majority, well, bars period, they have the, the right to refuse just all looks, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So they know that they're in a way of cover. And they're right, and it's nothing really I can do other than do this and encourage anybody who is black or anybody who goes to Capitol Hill that understands this type of mentality uh, that what's going on, that they will use us for our money. They'll, they'll take your money but when it comes to any situation. And I'm not the only one that's, uh, has, that they have done this to. You go on Yelp, if you go on, look up um, the Runaways reviews online. A, I, I, was, yeah, I, got, I took a screenshot, I'll give it to you so you can, you can throw them out there. It's, it's a poorly ran place. It's one of those good old hole in the wall, boy, you know, good old boy type of places that, you know, somehow made it, you know, through the generations. You know? And it's in a place that acts like they don't have that culture. Right. Yeah. 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 And it should be. You put a country accent, right. you put a southern accent on any of those motherfuckers, yeah. it's a no brainer. Like, oh, this is racist shit. Yeah. As soon as you walk in there, you could feel what it was and what they cater to, because they'll quickly look at you, and then they'll do things like, they'll try to have like Motown Mondays, you know, things like that. They'll use the black culture. Well, we need, we need to quit supporting these neighborhoods where we're not welcome. And they show us that we're not welcome through, uh, through the housing market, 
they show us that we're not welcome uh, through the businesses that are allowed to open and allowed to stay open. How many black businesses are in Cali? Right. Not the Central District. When we do open, they get us quickly shut down.